Happy St. Patrick's Day, folks. All you guys and gals out there on YouTube land. Nice day today. Nice and sunny here in eastern Massachusetts. We all got our green on here. We're all Irish for the day. Excuse me. First little, uh, a bit hoarse from all my uh, talking and yelling. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. H2O. Water. Vasa. Agua. <clears throat> um, I think we have a fine brew today, as you can see here, from uh, and you saw earlier, uh, the boxes and bottles. Uh, this is from, uh, let me give you the information that I have. I'm hoping you're all having a, and celebrating a nice uh, St. Patty's Day, getting together with family and friends and co-workers, etc., and enjoying the day, being Irish for a day. Uh, a lot of parades uh, go on this this day. All right, let me uh, give the information I have on this fine looking brew. It's the uh, the beer of the day. I usually go with uh, Guinness Stout. But I'm trying this uh, this year, um, and I think it's going to be a good one. It sounds well, like it's going to be a real good one. All right, uh, Southern Tier Brewing Company is. Uh, from uh, Lake Woodnock, <laughs> my mouth my mouth's starting to not work. Uh, Lakewood, New York, Loc location Lakewood, New York, founded in 2002 by uh, two gentlemen. Uh, they were in the Air Force together, and uh, I guess after they got out of the Air Force, they probably were making brewing beer while they were in the Air Force. But when they got out, they uh, decided to uh, go big. From home brewing to a, a brewery, and they've done well. Uh, a Mr. Phineas Dem, Dem, Deminick, D E M I N K, Deminick. I'm not ruining that name, we're that name, Deminick. And a Mr. Allen, they call him Skip. Mr. Allen Yan, Y A H N, a Mr. Allen Yan. Uh, those two gentlemen that, like, well, I'm in the Air Force, started brewing and then got out. And, uh, Start a brewery, and that's a good thing. It's really good. All right, uh, let's see what else do I have here. They started from a, a, an old, they brought an old, old brewery that was in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. No brewery that was there. They uh, purchased that. Yeah, they did shut down. Uh, this Irish cream stout is uh, 25 international bitter units with the 5.8 percent alcohol by volume. 5.8. So uh, that's real nice. It's right in there. Uh, the malts in this are two row blend. Uh, a two row correction, two row pale. Correction. The malt in this is two row pale, caramel sixty, and debittered black <laughs> and folly flakes. I've never heard of that. Debittered black and folly flakes. A wee bit here with that <laughs> uh, the hops a cascade. And Chinook, we do grow hops in the back here, and uh, we do grow Cascade and Fuggles, a couple of locations over back there. And we do get some pretty good crop crop out of them. Uh, see what else I have on this. I will get to this right right away. I will do it right now because uh, my uh, number one critic, my daughter uh, Michelle, said, um, she had mentioned that I talk too long and go on these tangents before I get to the beer. And let's gonna get to the beer right now. First, <laughs> I know. Here I go. First, I'm gonna have a little bit of this. A wee bit of this is what I'm gonna have. Fennelly salted caramel. Hmm. Got a little bit of ice in the glass. Uh, cream liqueur. The finest blend of Irish cream, Irish whiskey, and Irish spirits. Sounds good to me. Now this is a salted caramel Irish cream liqueur. Now I've always had the Bailey's Irish cream. I've never had it in the form of uh, salted caramel. I do like salted caramel uh, together, uh, an ice cream and some candies, etc. And uh, all right, that's what it looks like. Looks like a iced coffee in a way. There's a lot of milk in it, but all right, we'll try this. Happy St. Pat's Day, folks. Oh, that's nice. 
Ooh. That is very flavorful. Very. That is very flavorful. Ooh. Ah. I don't want to put it down. But we're here for the beer. Um, it's a seasonal brew. Southern Chair Brewing Company, Irish Cream Stout. Again, 5.8% alcohol by volume. All right. Uh, best by June 23rd, 2022. I do have a treat here. I've uh, opened these up on another uh, beer review I did. Wait, before I, if you've been watching my channel, before I've seen these here. These are, uh, these are mixed right now. I put some... Uh, Hot. My, my wife picked up uh, three bags of uh, one regular onion rings, one with that's hot, and hot fries. And uh, I mixed the rest of the hot fries in this bag here. Is what you see them. And uh, they are they are hot. Mm. They are hot. It's not a real French fry. It's um, corn and oat snack. They are good. Try to get to the, the onion ring down the bottom here. There's one there, I think. A piece of one. Oh, here we go. Look at how reddish and dark that is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. That is hot. My tongue's burning. Not so much on the side of my mouth, but oh, thank you. Oh. All right, up to the dope. That's the brew. We got a mug. Check that out. Instant Irish. <laughs> Just add beer. Grasp. I like these these mugs. You can put your thumb in there, and you can do all kinds of things with it. And by drinking with it, and um, it doesn't slip out of your hand like a gla regular glass would. All right. Let me show the top of this. Is uh, they produce it, and we will show it. Southern Tier Brewing Company. And already. Uh, let me see. Lake. Lakewood. Okay, Lakewood. Lakewood, New York. All right, Lakewood, New York. I think that's over the western part of New York, I think. Yes, no, maybe. All right, without further ado. Oh, yeah. So, if we had uh, any color change or shift or anything. <laughs> We did have it. <laughs> Alright. Sorry folks if we had any kind of a shift or color change in the in the video. Uh the batteries went dead. That's my job to check the batteries and I keep forgetting. So <laughs> but anyways, uh Water Famous were coming out. That's a nice thing to say. They always come out when it's a bottle. I noticed when it's a can, you never see any water vapors coming out. I don't know. All right, get that mug. Showed you earlier. Oh, that is nice looking. It's an Irish cream, Irish cream stout. That looks really good. Again, St. Patty's Day. A little bit of a big head on this. Uh, let me put this down. Have a little more sip of the uh, salted caramel <laughs> cream liqueur. Fenley's salted caramel cream liqueur. You saw that. And, uh, hmm. All right. Oh. Uh, 
Hope you all uh, get into the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. There are a lot of parades that go out to the big cities. Oh, that is so good. And uh, families and friends and everybody getting together. I know they have a big, big shindigs at a lot of the uh, Irish taverns and bars, etc. in the Boston area. Oh, that's nice. So I imagine across the, the country it's like that. Um, so if I have any other information that I can give you, that I mentioned it was founded in 2002. And it's really taken off. Uh, what else do I get down on here? A wee bit of information. Not much, just what I had mentioned earlier. All right, let's get into the baroque. Kind of the, the aromas match what it looks like. It's really, it's very dark. You say dark, dark, dark brown or black. It's opaque. Can't see through it. A nice tan head on it. So this is going to be a true stout. This one is going to be a, a cream stout. An Irish cream stout. So I imagine it's uh, going to kind of maybe taste like a, an Irish uh, cream liqueur in a way, I guess. All right. My mother doesn't seem to be working <laughs> too well today. Uh, cheers. Mmm. That is good. It's matching the, the aroma. The aromas I was getting. I'm first getting maltiness, but then it comes in with a, a coffee aroma that's overtaking. Yeah, nice. Um, you get that with the, the stouts, chocolate or coffee, roasted maltiness. And I'm getting the, the maltiness and the coffee. And as the gases escape and come out, they'll change its flavors, etc. The flavor is coffee and a bit of chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, chocolate. I'm not picking up. Now I am. The aroma of chocolate. Wasn't picking it up earlier, but now I'm picking up the aroma of chocolate. Uh, it, it must be on the uh, that malt. They're saying that um, flakes, uh, black and fiery flakes, it must be the. Uh, the, the flavors and the aromas that's given off on that. I know the caramel 60 in the two row peel give off um, the um, real coffee in vanilla and, and I think somewhat of um, a roasted maltiness is the, 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 the two row peel. That's just conjecture on my part. Mm, it's very flavorful. Very drinkable. Creaminess. It has a smoothness as you're drinking it. Definitely smooth. Full mouthfeel. Definitely full or medium, medium to full. That was more of a medium mouthful then. Strong, medium, mouthfeel. But the smoothness and the creaminess is what gets you into your mouth as you're drinking it. As it goes over your tongue, goes down. It has the flavors, but the sensation of that creaminess and the smoothness. As I'm drinking, I can pick up the aromas of coffee. And it uh, intertwines with the chocolate aroma. Chocolate, like real strong chocolate right now. And it really adds to the flavor when you, I mean, everything in life which, that you eat, you're kind of smelling as you're eating it, and it adds to what you're eating. Um... They don't say much about uh, 
the brewery itself. I'd like to get more information on the brewery. Um, I, I did some due diligence, but didn't have much on the brewery itself. Uh, and I didn't spend much time on that because I wanted to get do this uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, beer review on this brew here and uh, get it posted and um, see what you think of it, folks. I know we all go with the Guinness Stout, but I figured this year I'm going with this here, and I'm glad I did. It's nice, very enjoyable brew. Uh, so I won't run this too long. It's a beautiful day here. It's sunny. Uh, the temperatures are definitely in the mid 60s. Now this is March. This is still winter for us folks here in Massachusetts and um, throughout New England. It's our winter. But I think winter is winding down, and it's giving way to spring, and that is that is nice. That is real nice. So, excuse me. So, um, I won't run too long. I'll end it here, saying that if you're going to drink today any kind of alcohol, be responsible for what you do. Excuse me. Good combination. Very good combination. My hat's off to the brewmaster. Um, if you're going to dry, drink alcohol today, it's a lot of people are going to, on St. Patrick's Day, don't drive vehicles at all, and don't run heavy equipment. Be an adult. Enjoy yourself. Have fun on St. Patrick's Day. But please, don't go out and drive. Because uh, the life you save may be your own, let alone other people. All right, with that said, enjoy the day, folks. Uh, hope you're all partying, having a good time on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I know my lovely wife is making a fantastic Irish meal. She even made the Irish soda bread. So, uh, it looked good in the oven, real good. All right, folks, from Eastern Massachusetts, have a good day. Ciao.